What is unique about the Met One? How much of a breakthrough is it? Well, it's actually really groundbreaking and it's all about the map on the screen. By putting, uploading your own uh, SOP map onto the counter itself, it means you don't anymore need paper SOPs and you just follow the screen and it guides you to it. So it's very unique. And some of our um, the competitors out there have, of course, got some features in here, but nobody has the map on the screen. Uh, nobody has the audit trail that's built in as well. So this is really unique. And it's, as I say, it's designed specifically for the GMP environment. So we designed it based on what our customers told us they needed for this specific environment. It's not a general purpose instrument. So it's all about the map. You say that it improves workflow. How exactly? Well, um, if you remember when I was describing the process, I was saying it's very manual with the technician having to manually configure the counter uh, for every location. So because we've uploaded the SOP sampling map onto the screen here, it's an interactive map. So the technician just goes to each location as they would have done before, but instead of manually configuring the counter, they just tap the location on the screen and the counter itself configures itself. So there's no manual configuration. So we've removed all that manual uh, configuration of the counter, which makes it a lot more Alcoa compliant and, and more accurate. And then the other thing we've done is, uh, of course, an important step with this process is the review and approve step. So at the end of each day, when the technicians finished all their sampling, the supervisor or the manager would have to review that they've taken all the samples at every location on the screen. Now, what happens here is once you've finished a sample, it turns green. So the technician can see very easily and very simply if they've taken all the samples. And so at the end of the day, the supervisor actually logs on to the counter remotely using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And all they use is a web browser to get to the counter. And then the review and approve process is actually inside the counter itself. So they log on to the counter, they check that all of the sample locations have been done correctly and there's no alarms, that they're unexplained. And then they sign it off using, uh, again, Microsoft Active Directory credentials, which means, again, very attributable to them and very secure. The Met One automates data gathering. Why is that important? What people have told me is that the teams of technicians doing the sampling in the clean rooms are sampling thousands of points every month. And uh, it's all manual process, so the opportunity for human error to creep in is huge, uh, hence all the data errors. So by automating the sample with the on-screen map here, uh, we've uh, removed that opportunity for human error to creep in, and so we get more accurate results. And the key point to remember, of course, is this is the GMP environment. So if they do um, have inaccurate results or missed sampling results, uh, then unfortunately the, the uh, batch of drug product they've made that day could be at risk. They may need to throw it away because you have to be able to demonstrate that you are in compliance, of course, during the entire manufacturing period. Doesn't someone still have to visit the different testing sites to monitor the emission of particles? <laughs> yeah, that's quite right. We can't automate that part of the process. The technician still needs to take the counter to each and every location on their daily rounds to make sure they take the sample at every location. But the good thing is that once they've taken a sample at each of the locations, uh, the sampling point turns green. So you can see at a quick glance as to whether you've taken all of the samples that you're required to do each day. How do you set up the system so that it functions automatically thereafter? So um, setup of the counter is actually just a, a one-off affair. You just do it once. So you upload your sampling map into the counter, then you assign your sampling locations and you tell the counter how many samples to take at each location and you give each location a name. And once you've done that, that first time, that's it. You don't need to touch it again. It's all automated inside the counter. So it's a one-off thing you need to do.